hello there guys and girls, I hope you're all doing bloody well. My name's Mikey and welcome back to my room for another episode of Draw with Mikey. It is the super casual, unedited, unscripted, midweek kind of thing we do on the channel, for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, where basically uh, we talk about whatever, swear word alert, spoiler alert, it's just my opportunity to say hello to you guys and read through the comment section, have a bit of interaction and see what's going on. So if you've got something to uh, say to me, if you want to get involved and talk in the conversation, get into the comment section below and I might be able to catch it for next time around. Um, so what's going on? I'm going to um, could always try to mix up how I'm viewing your comments to catch a wider range of people across a few episodes as possible. So I'm just going right in uh, date order to the very first comment. So remember guys, keep your notifications turned on. Click that bell icon if you want to get in early. Although to be fair, um, <laughs> I'll probably mix it up again next time. Um, so what is going on with Yunus Nazim who says, no joke, I was literally scrolling for you to upload because of what he posted on Instagram. Oh yeah, so um, last episode was time-lapse footage of working on our OC characters, those Christmas elves. Uh, one of them is called Danny, the silver-haired one, um, because of Danny Elfman. It was a great joke. It's the best thing in my life. Uh, the other blonde one, um, I think we were coming up with something like uh, Mishka on a top, but that is changing. And um, hopefully by now I've already discussed this live on Twitch to the uh, hardcore crew who just hang around on there. But uh, yeah, I've realized that um, I think Victoria is just a much stronger, because that's kind of a Russian name, a much stronger name that works with like her character and her features. So Victoria on a top. Um, maybe she's got a nickname Misha, although she is also called uh, Miss Delicious. Anyway, let's not get too weeaboo too early into the situation. Um, Yunus Nazim was just referencing the fact that I popped up an Instagram image of some of the stuff we were working on in last episode. And I dare say, because I haven't wrapped it up yet, what you're probably watching now is more time-lapse footage of me just working on like a template version of the elf. So not like a, a air quotes pretty picture as much as just a framework so that I could put different layers on top and experiment of different clothes in the future. I hope it goes well and I hope of course you guys are getting on perhaps with your own artwork or homework or maybe you're just chilling out getting some other things done in the background. I really don't mind it's just nice to come and chill out. Anyway let me crack on. Exodus 2017 says Mikey hey hello Exodus 2017 and Jabal Annette says hey Mikey can you draw Kasumi from dead or alive? Yes Jabal we can. Oh my god you know what maybe I think I've done Kasumi. Wait a minute. Mikey Mega Mega. I'm just on another tab, Kasumi. I did like some black and white fan art of a dead or alive character. I think that, who was it? Who was it? I'm gonna need to go onto YouTube. I'm gonna read, sorry guys, we've gone off piste already. I'm just going onto YouTube because I've, I feel like, I feel like I've done that. Like only, it was only a black and white picture, digitally. Is she, <clears throat> Actually, no, you know what? Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Kasumi's a blonde one, right? Let's go onto YouTube. Let's have a really quick look. Oh, so whilst I'm doing this, so it's not just the sound of me typing away. Uh, yeah, guys, congratulations, Mikey. Mega Mega 2 is back. Um, for those of you not in the know, I have another channel. Actually, I've got a couple um, other ones, but uh, the one that all the hello oh, text message, the one that all the video games go up to is Mega Mega 2. And that's where I also put um, a lot of the uh, streaming stuff as well. Mikey Mega Mega. Just going to search my own history to make sure I haven't done Kasumi from Dead or Alive. No. No, but I've done. Oh, did I do Shiranoi? Is that who I did? Anyway, I've done a fighter, but Kasumi does need to go on the list in that case. Thanks for the suggestion. It is a good and valid one. Um, but like I was saying, YouTube shut down my second channel. Um, it was a really dick move, and it's just one of those YouTube heroes. Somebody who wants to be a police officer but never quite made it and just decided they didn't like anime and flagged some videos. Um, incorrectly, by the way. So I appealed it with YouTube. And thankfully, they got back to me and were just like, yeah, it's totally appropriate to reinstate your channel because um, it was it was stupid to take it down. So it's back. That is great. That's that miserable mess over. But just a start of year reminder how fucked up like YouTube is to new creators. Like you get no support. The only reason I could even appeal it after it got terminated was because through this channel, I get like a slightly better support process than you get if you're new. Um, so yeah, it's tough out there. You've got to play it safe till you get them subs. Anyway, the grind continues. Um, but that's good news. It means the gaming's going back up there. Thank you everybody for the well wishing and all the good support and stuff. That was really kind of a lot of you. Uh, Javamation Studios says, YouTube's wrong for doing that to you, Mikey Mega Mega. Thank you, Javamation Studios. At least they put it right. And Anim Sketcher says, Notification Squad. 
So yeah, this is what's going to happen if I read your comments in date order. Most of you guys cracking in super early and saying hello. Um, oh god, you've got one of those... Uh, your name is written with symbols and shit. Oh, it's fucking awful. Uh, what what does it say? Winter hashtag con TV. Brazil here. Oh wow. Um, bienvenido, obrigado for uh, watching and following along, P Brazil person. It's a pleasure to have you. Sort your name out. Yuki Chan says hello. Hello, Yuki Chan. And Ginger says insane draw. Thank you very much, Ginger. I do appreciate it. Jeffrey Lee is also on the notification squad, and Brian Perry is. Put up a load of symbols that seem to indicate it's hot and or lit. Thank you, good sir. Lucas Santos says, Sierra Melhor se puedes fazer o download da imagem. Um, which I think you're asking, where can I go to download these images? Well, Lucas Santos, they're all available on Patreon forward slash Mikey Mega Mega, but uh, it's a bit of a two way street, that one. Looper27 says, Love your work. Thank you very much. All oh, the early comments are really kind comments. <laughs> this is awesome. I should read in date order more often. Uh, Vontiami Vontiami says, I'm sorry your second one got taken down. Don't worry, dude. Thank you. I'm glad we're back. And Dear Maddie Gaming DMG says, Hello. Hello, Dear Maddie Gaming. How you doing? Rodrigo NL says, uh, Yo quiero una tablet para dibujo. Uh, dibujo uh, pero no sé cómo participa porque no uh, entendió el inglés, creo. Uh, que con deja mi comentario y mi like. Rodrigo NL. Muchas gracias. Um, uh, para... Uh, your like, <laughs> toots like, I say. Um, amigo, gracias. Um, so yeah, Rodrigo obviously uses a tablet to get his drawings done as well, but he doesn't really get involved with the DWM episodes because he doesn't understand English. But he did like this drawing. Uh, thank you very much. I need to, like, to kind of, because I love talking to people, um, or at least I love talking into a microphone when I've just come back from work and I'm fucking shattered from another long, miserable day in the office. But... Um, I do quite enjoy it, what can I say? Um, it always helps, by the way. Oh, I haven't said this in a while. Everybody out there, I hope you got yourself a cup of tea and or coffee. It's a prerequisite. Let's have a sip. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Um, I really need to upgrade my language skills again. And YouTube takes up so much time. I work on some other projects that take up so much time, plus day job. Plus some stuff I'm trying to like get a studio sorted in the house is is too much. I need more time. So, uh, yeah, I really want to learn up some language again and just be slightly better at communicating with you people. It's very important to me. Uh, congrats to Blake says play Les. Um, yeah, Blake Blake here won uh, the last of a penultimate tablet. Not the Les, not anymore. But the tablet giveaway before last, we had a winner there. Um, so. Uh, Blake, if you're listening, I popped over your details to the tablet supplier. Excellent. Congratulations. Uh, and then I announced another giveaway to another another winner to another tablet giveaway uh, in the last episode. It was up 10 best channels to sit down and do long artwork to. That was a really weird video. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not even reading your comments. We're going on sidetrack again. That was a really weird video. In, but I was just like, right, today I want to announce the winner of a tablet giveaway. I'll pick someone. And I thought, oh... <laughs> I can't just do that, like make a 10 second video. I need to talk about something. And I thought in these DWM episodes, we often talk about like, you know, what music do you listen to when you draw? What kind of things do you like to have on in the background? Is it a film? Is it something else? Or do you like dead silence so you can really focus into your own artwork? What's the vibe? Uh, so I thought, seeing as I'm often saying the exact same thing about YouTube channels I tend to follow with a heavy penchant towards uh, film critiques and channels like that, um, I thought actually, we could, I'll stick it in a video. Why not? So it's kind of a shout out you thank you video, but because it's so bodged together, it's like <laughs> the sound levels are really bad. I've barely had time to edit it because I, I had a really small window of time to get it done yesterday and upload it. Um, but it was nice to just sort of, sort of it was nice to just sort of say to a load of random YouTubers, hey, I've probably never really said much to you guys, but I'm often watching your videos. So thanks. Keep doing what you're doing and all that kind of stuff. Anyway. Uh, so keep an eye out peeled on the channel is basically what I'm saying for any possible giveaways in the future. And um, we had the uh, Patreon giveaway as well for the Ace Pen graphics drawing tablet, the screen one. And uh, the guy who won that, I've only just posted that. So you're listening on Thursday probably. Today, Wednesday, only just posted it even though I announced him as a winner like back in December. I'm a terrible person. Um, I'm so glad I've just thought of that because I need to pop him an email and say that I've sent it out. But yeah, congrats to him too good times it's nice to do giveaways and stuff we're gonna have a good 2018 everybody i'm feeling pretty good about it uh thunder guns pro says congrats to blake as well and ambrosia cunningham says love it thank you very much ambrosia i do appreciate that tommy and guyan tommy 
Tommy's been around for years on the channel. How are, you, how are you doing, dude? You've got like a new icon, I see. You're amazing. I still remember when you did sex, sexy anime drawings weekly. It's so nice to see your improvement. Tommy, thank you very much, dude. Oh, there's like a few really old school commenters on here. And like sometimes they don't turn up on the channel for months, maybe years. Um, but every now and then I'll see somebody in the comment section who's been around since like I had my first, say, 6,000 subs or less. Uh, Tommy's from an even smaller crowd than that. Uh, yeah, so it's always like a pleasure just like, because obviously you people are going off and living your own lives. Some of you are growing up, have different passions, maybe get in or out of art. And then randomly, like, you'll just pop back one day and like, because uh, I'm still hopefully in your subscription tab and just say hello out of random. And I'm just like, oh, I remember you. <laughs> I remember you from ages ago. How you doing, man? Anyway, sorry, I don't want to get too hype. Uh, can't get too hype. I'm just pleased. I am genuinely pleased I'm not aware today. I don't want to get tell you walking out of our office today i was just like fucking hell finally anyway drowned 121 says while i'm watching this video it says 52 views and 53 likes how how youtube how youtube updates uh, certain counters quicker than others and it like um, when there's loads of people commenting really quickly when a video just goes live, like the notification squad and you hashtag hardcore crew bad boys bloody love you sip of tea um it kind of like holds comments in groups before loading them onto whichever server you're watching it from and sometimes it decides whether or not it's gonna like um hold back comments or just put them up as spam and stuff but it like it passes it into different parcels um and then loads it onto the system in a really weird manner youtube is an incredible machine with that fucking crazy algorithm that allows people to show dead bodies in suicide forests but doesn't allow people with smaller youtube channels to draw real-time anime pictures what a fucking time to be alive alpha ruler says hey mikey hello alpha love your work and art style along with the tutorials you put out that help me and others a lot with drawing oh dude i'm really pleased obviously like i mean i go on about it all the time but yeah if you get any use out of them makes me a happy man i need to do better quality ones like Thanks to the support of the patrons on Patreon, I've got like a better quality webcam. Um, I've got like a ring light. So hopefully, and I've only just got all of this equipment. I've been using my telephone over a coat hanger solid for the last two and a half years. Shit, is it nearly three years? Shit. Let's say two years, three quarters. Um, but now hopefully just visually, the quality is going to be a bit better. And I've got my trusty Rode microphone, which uh, allows those dulcet tones. I hope you enjoy spending some time here. I bloody love being all up in your ear holes and spending some time with you. Anyway, so uh, yeah, thank you very much, dude. Anyway, could you draw Kurumi Tos Tokasaki from Day to Live? It's one of my favorite characters from my favorite anime stroke light novel series. Uh, Tokasaki. Uh, or Kurumi, as you say, is already on the list. Many people have suggested her, Alpha Ruler, so thank you. I don't need to open a notepad or anything for that one. She's already down there. I need to turn this into, like, um, I'm going to start, I don't know, like, doing, like, a lucky dip thing um, where we, like, I'll put everyone's ideas on, um, oh, fuck, what do you, raffle tickets, there we go. You can get them for cheap. And, like, do a draw or something. I have no idea how we're going to do this. Anyway, Hyperonic says, YouTube's damned artificial intelligence programs and programming is very incapable of doing what it's supposed to do. Hyper Iconic, tell me all about it. Tell Skynet, tell Nightbot, all these people, all these computer minds. But, but what it boils down to, by the way, Hyper Iconic, is at the very end, it was a human being who viewed the videos and just went, Ugh, anime? N no, it's probably too rude for YouTube. Even though there's, like... You know, it's it's a little bit lewd, maybe. I've, ah, it's a little bit risky. No boobs, no nipples. You know what I mean? Like, it's safe. It's safe. Of course, I'm going to do safer uh, um, internet artwork because loads of young kids, like, as well as old people getting back into drawing, loads of young kids kind of discover art at a young age and want to get into it. So, yeah, I might lure you in with a picture of a boob from time to time, but what you're actually going to sit down and realise is that I'm trying to give you genuine knowledge and I'm not showing you any nipples or anything. But, uh, yeah, I like to keep it risky. Anyway. <laughs> so many sidetracks. Let's scroll up. Uh, the Def AJ Falco Pool 90 says, Oh, I see your second channel on YouTube. I guess that's nice. Awesome, bro. Uh, the Def AJ Falco Pool 90, thank you very much, good sir. Dude, um, if you are deaf, uh, not that it's going to be of much use, um, I'm trying to learn 
very very basic this is the exact same thing when i talk about communication just as i did earlier i'm um, in with that i'm trying to learn some really basic bsl sign language because i do a lot of stuff on twitch on on camera and i want to just learn a few of the basic uh, gestures for communication so uh, if you can ever hit me up with some knowledge i'll be greatly welcome i found some good youtube videos i just need to find a moment to actually sit down and listen to them uh, santiago Henano said eres un crack <laughs> it's a crack Cool dude. And Henley Fitzelberg says, YouTube doesn't learn, does it? Grudge. Yeah, thank you very much, guys, for being angry on my behalf at YouTube, shutting down that channel. But it is back. So you know what? YouTube is a fucking... It's a, I mean, I've said this before. I've got a love-hate relationship with it. There's uh, so many things that I like, and the positives, thankfully, outweigh the negatives. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Um, but there's so many things which are just oh, real just roadblocks that just turn up out of the blue when you think things are going well so it swings roundabouts but they've sorted it the channel is back there's no strikes on it or anything like that so you know what you've got to just say it fucking sucks it happened they sorted it so at least that's good i don't don't not need well fucking hell i no longer need to worry about it let me walk away and live my life and thus we do anyway i've got too many video games i need to start playing now if anyone knows any hints or tips about the witcher without them being spoilers hit me up be irrelevant oh wait if your relevance says, I swear, if YouTube removed your second account for copyright, no, it wasn't copyright irrelevant. It was literally just, um, it did, you don't even get a fucking reason. This is what it, so YouTube will do shit and they won't explain why. They'll just say, oh, you was in breach of our copyright rules, which could be one of any of our 12 subcategories of um, YouTube's things. It could be copyright, audio visual stuff, threatening, harassing behavior, lewd or sexual things, death or like, um, pain cause to other things, animal cruelty. There's an entire fucking impeachment of rights. There's an entire range. So you've got to go through your video and be like, which one of these many possible things have I offended somebody about? Turns out it's none of them, obviously, because, you know, fuck you, whoever that was. Trust me. Oh, no. <laughs> Just me. Says, his second channel's gone. Well, it's like having two girlfriends. Don't give one enough attention and they leave you. Just me. That is an excellent and very accurate metaphor for trying to run two YouTube channels back together. Because as well as Mikey Mega Mega uh, and Mega Mega 2, I've also got Film Cram, which has totally taken a back seat in the last six months. Uh, and then there's the Mikey Whitehead vlog, which is, uh, it's not really a thing. In, in back of my head, I was like, I'll be a Casey Neistat. And then I realized, oh, fuck, that's far too much hard work. I'm not going to go around with a camera all day long. Um, but uh, yeah, I've got, <laughs> got a few YouTube channels on the old back burner. Koru uh, Kinyim says... Uh, what? Nikki Chen has a paywall to his her videos? I've been following them for quite a while and the only paywall they have are links to Vimeo and that's because YouTube doesn't allow nudity or the female body but I do agree that his or her construction is fucking god level. It's also kind of nostalgic of the good old days where you had someone to do speed paint over upbeat music. Oh, Korukin Yim, I will be um, still doing some speed paints with some upbeat beats as well, don't you worry, but yeah. Um, oh, by the way, okay, yeah, so Nikki Chen XX Nikki Chen XX um, does uh, loads of fan arts, produces way more than I do um, on YouTube as well. Um, but the construction method I use, like I said last time, is very similar to mine, but basically theirs is better. Like, it's so fucking good. They're so confident with their character poses. And I mentioned that there's a paywall to some of the videos. I feel like, in my head, I feel that there was ages ago, like there was a thing that says, go over here to see the rest of this video. But you know what, um, Koryu Kim Yim, I'm not going to stand behind that. You might actually be correct. It might simply be there's points in a video where it says follow this link to Vimeo. And I've assumed that it's like a paywall situation. Um, but really, it's just continuing the artwork with the ruder side at the very end. So, yeah, I'll take that back. I'll eat my hat if need be. Um, Ezekiel says, fabuloso. Nice. Oh, gracias, Ezekiel. Thank you very much. I'm assuming you guys are enjoying our OC elf characters. Oh, shit. What did I say? Shit. What did I say? Victoria, oh yeah, there we go. Victoria on the top. And we haven't worked out Danny's surname. I just know she's Danny at the front. Um, And who at the back? Zebazer Zin says, hello Mikey, hello Zebazer Zin. I've been watching your videos for a while now and have been practicing non-stop. The only problem I'm having is coming up with those poses for the bodies. Any tips? Zebazer Zin, 
have a look at how other people get um, over poses as opposed to the construction level. You need to get flowing and loose. Have a look at loads of gestures, things. Get yourself on Pinterest and look at like um, reference boards full of different poses. Look at the poses of people in real life. So look at live model reference boards as well and translate that into your anime style. You're actually going to learn a little bit more, a little bit differently if you do that instead of just copying straight from other anime because you're going to translate the real form to your construction of your characters. But basically, have a look around there's a whole world of things online oh should put this phone on silent instead of vibrate and we won't get <gasps> twitch have finally approved my emoticon <laughs> what a weird text message to get middle of a recording I've got a Twitch channel for those of you who don't know. Come and check it out. Oh, everybody, if you could, I'd bloody... It's a bit late. I should have said this at the beginning of the video. Whoever's still here, I'd bloody love you if you could uh, subscribe to Mega Mega 2. That'd be real nice. I'll do a competition and a giveaway surrounding it at some point to, you know, really kick it off. Um, but also come follow me on Twitch. Just go over to Twitch. Make sure you've got an account. It's all free. Click the follow button. It's just like subscribing for free on YouTube. Um, but it's follow, not subscribe, because subscribe means something else on Twitch. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, come hang out on all the things. And anyway, uh, Shirony X, uh, one of our delicious viewers, made me a load of Mikey uh, face emoticons. So that's a thing now. That's amazing. I'm like they're so cool. It's just little Mikey faces, but I fucking love them. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much if you happen to be listening whatsoever. Uh, Little Rain says, "Hey, Kenny, you here?" Um, it's a little rain talking about someone else. I'm not sure. And Crazy Boy Brown Boy says, That's messed up. They did you like that. It was messed up. Thank you, dude. Um, Austin Miller says, Hey, Mikey, you should make those elf girls your mascots. Austin Miller. Oh, we're getting. I'm considering it. I am considering it. I'm using those elf characters for random stuff a lot more. Um, it just was out of the blue that we did some random Christmas elves. Turns out we quite liked them. And now I'm thinking. Yeah, they might hang around a little bit on the channel. I don't know how mascotty they're going to be or how much I'm going to use them, but they're certainly here for a while. Sao Anime Freak says, "At Mikey Mega Mega, make a Patreon." Sao Anime Freak, I've got a Patreon, motherfucker. <laughs> That's a great suggestion. If I didn't have one, it's patreoncom forward slash Mikey Mega Mega. Come get involved. Vic Villain Waver says, "Mikey, sucks to hear what YouTube has done to you." I subscribe to other channels that have had the man come down on them, and eventually they got their content and channel back. Hopefully, they get yours back soon, Vic. Thank you, he says, putting his thumb out and putting his forefinger and thumb out as if to count to two. And they did. Thank you very much for the support. You and everybody as well. Yeah, like, cheers, guys. I really do appreciate that because, like, um, it's nice because I know, like, a lot of you guys watch some of the videos for various reasons. Brilliant. Um, but when, like, I just get some shit and you guys actually turn around and start commenting and saying, oh, that sucks, dude. Good luck. I'm just like, oh, oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> it makes me feel well nice. Oh, shit. I'm such a fucking sucker for, um, Mate, I'm such a mark for, like, nice vibes. I'm just like, oh, that's real nice. Okami Braden says, Hi, Mikey. Hello, there, Okami. What's your favourite mobile drawing application? Mine is Autodesk Sketchbook. I get a lot of my work in process line work and full illustrations done as there, especially since the latest update. Plus, only five bucks for the full version. I bounce between that app and Manga Studio on my PC. Okami Brethren. Fuck. Like, so I think I talked the other day in the last DWM or something once I had some kind of random drawing app for kids, but it had this really fucking cool function where um, you could use a certain type of pen where each time you drew a line in, it looked like there was loads of um, metal filaments like getting attached to it. So you'd end up with these crazy, scratchy, violent, like dark industrial looking drawings like out of nowhere. Really, really nice. Um, but in terms of sitting down um, in a like the only time I ever draw on my phone is when I'm on holiday or at the pub with my friend and we're drunk and we're doing some like really not okay for public <laughs> like uh, stuff to like laugh about. Um, but the idea of like sitting down and doing line work on a phone is great. I'm always on the toilet. That would be a excellent thing to do. But God, how would I get away with that? Yeah, I quite like it. Autodesk, you say? I'm going to Okami Brethren. Autodesk sketchbook, $5. I'm just going to take your comment my delicious viewing friend and open up notepad and leave that for later for a possible download thank you very much Lazinski says Mikey claims he doesn't draw hentai but from the looks of it I have a feeling he does wouldn't be surprised if he makes doujin cheese in his spare time Lazinski yeah what can I say I mean if I if I did and I was denying it of course I'd say I didn't um but I don't <laughs> but I don't uh, and it's not that like I'm above it or anything like that I just don't have the time to work on any more projects when I've already got this is why commissions aren't open yet no time um on patreon 
yeah, things get a bit lewd and risky. There's a few boobs and nipples about there. That's pretty much it. Like, uh, I like, I mean, I've talked about this a hundred times, so I'm not going to go into the full answer. Um, but like, yeah, nothing against it. Um, I could see the allure, to be honest. Um, but it's not my main thing in life. It's not massively my vibe for various reasons. Um, also because, like, again, like, I'm a grown man, so I swear all the time and I don't fucking care. Uh, but equally, there's a part of me that, like, loves the whole art drawing stuff to the point I want, like, uh, it to be available to everybody and I don't want anybody turned off or intimidated by the idea of drawing because of a world of Rule 34 and stuff like that that also is across the internet. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the background thinking. But no, if I had the time and I thought there was an audience for it, one day I might just make some filthy doujinshi. But the thing is, it's like... If you make something that's like really out there, like really hardcore, it's kind of like, oh, should I put my name to that or should I like post that under like a pseudonym or something like that? If you ever see like a, if you ever see like a hentai artist come out of nowhere of a really similar art style and his name is something like definitely not Mikey, like DNM or something like that, then you know, but it's our little secret. Definitely not Mikey.com for filthiest artwork. Uh, Duke Nitro says, does anybody want to help create a new super YouTube? Duke, I wish. And Bojack D says, and this is why Twitch is gaining uh, steam and money from all of its abuse of power. If YouTube keeps this up, it's going to give a lot of its business away to alternative providers. I feel sorry for you, Mikey. Thanks, dude. It isn't right. Don't worry about it. Let's hope YouTube doesn't ban this channel. Oh, God, this one? I hope not. That's like my main audience. <laughs> really fucked me up. Uh, and uh, But cheers, dude. And uh, yeah, you hang out on some of the Twitch. That's brilliant. Um, Anonymous Frog says, Man, my comment was right above the first red comment. Darn, I feel left out. Have you seen any of Twisted Grimm's animations on YouTube? Twisted Grimm TV, an incredible talent. He has a lovely original character named Emmy. I think your star would work well with your love for stuff, my man. And I'm an Anonymous Frog, thank you. I'm going to copy and paste uh, your comment as well so that I check that out after I've done this recording. Actually, shit, what time is it? Uh, it's it's getting a bit late today. I'm going to uh, probably go on live. I mean, this is after the fact. You're hearing this on Thursday, but I'm probably going to go live on Twitch tonight because I just need to wrap up a little bit of character art and with any luck, fit it into what you're seeing at your end with those templates. We'll see how we go. It just reminded me about some things I need to do. Thank you, though. Ryoka Nadusawa says, Happy New Year, Mikey. Akimashite. Onewitetto. Oh, no, it's happy birthday. Fuck. Happy New Year, anyway. <laughs> and Honey Badger says, lol, up the quick maths. Yeah, we tried to work something out about, um, f like, wanking four days, four times a day for a year. Something like that. Anyway, you burn yourself out. Shin Upload says, yes, 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 a video I'm always waiting for. Shin, thank you very much. Welcome back to another episode of Draw With Mikey. It is, of course, as ever, a pleasure. Oh, my God, how are we doing for time? I just need to... Ah, oh, we got plenty of time. What are you worried about? Let's put that over there, though keep half an eye on it. Justin Chu says, smiley face. Thank you, Justin. And Avon says, this is impossible. What do you mean? Like, uh, shutting down the channel or the artwork I was doing? In either case, just believe in yourself. That's why I put up this. So I'd, I'm doing, like, in no particular order, but from time to time, you might see me do some really basic drawing videos, because I have had a lot of requests from people about, okay, it's a little bit too much to go straight into the constructions of like an anime character and stuff uh, can you give like some really basic starting points and a lot of people ask me what video should I watch first in your tutorials or how can I start and to be fair loads of people have got really good starting videos out there I thought I'd have a crack at my own and it was a little bit meta like uh, I didn't actually sit down and tell you how to draw anything as much as I wanted to kind of explain that um, like you can learn like, so maybe you can't draw now and that frustrates you or you want to draw, you've got your juices flowing. Like, this is a thing I read in June of all the things. Like, that's such a fucking good book. The most important learn, uh, most important lesson Paul Atreide ever learned uh, was that he was capable of learning. So you can just know that if you can't have, like, something or you don't have a particular skill or you can't do it, I really wanted to just say, basically, don't worry, it will happen over time. And that's what the whole point is. So the first video is just about attitude, really, and that you can learn and don't stress. And that, like, you know, human beings are very capable things. Don't worry about over-measuring yourself and freaking out. Next one, um, I don't know if it'll be the next tutorial we've got at the weekend. I might do another anime one, or I might make it one of the basics. But um, it'll be really basic. Um, like, you know, holding a pencil, like we'll cover like a pencil and a piece of paper and we'll do a few basic shapes and why it's important to learn just a couple basic shapes and how they can unlock 
loads of complicated shapes if you learn to break it down. So we'll come back to something like maybe I'm just I haven't thought it out yet, but that's vaguely what's in the back of my head. Anyway, uh, cheers for asking or whatever it was you asked. I went into another side thing. I'm sorry. Uh, was it Avon just saying this is impossible? And yet I just rambled on. Androm Andromedus. There we go. It says, I remember when I used to be able to draw a halfway decent. I clicked on your vids and I got hooked. Now I can't draw to save my life. My female figures turn out one of three ways. Mechanical and stiff, disproportionate with a torso way too short, or disproportionate with legs way too short. Forget about me doing eight head tall girls. Oh, Andromedus, I'm so sorry to hear that. At the beginning of this video, you probably noticed I measured out eight heads high um, for uh, one of the character bits that we're working on. So measure those heads and come back to it. Although to be fair, like my tutorials do force people to draw those girls a little bit shorter and a little bit thicker because uh, everyone's got their uh, preferences in their art style. Alex for great one two three three says, "What's up, Mikey? What's up, Alex? How you doing, man? I just switched to majors of art and design in college, third semester, second year. Oh, dude." Wow. I wanted to be in a medical field but realised I was doing it for the money and wasn't really a passion like drawing is. Oh, wow. Well, that's an incredibly difficult life decision to make um, when you're a little bit younger. I'm not calling you young, but, you know, younger in general with a bit more of your life ahead of you than me. Uh, yeah, like, do you work for money or do you work for passion or do you try to find something in between? Fucking tough. Anyway, now I want to do something with video games, maybe character and concept art or illustration. I've been trying to draw at least most of a week and now I'm just practicing the basics like setting up poses and faces and stuff for context. I've been drawing since forever. Looks like you've wrote an essay. The only reason I started and I'm so good is because of Mark Crilly. Any tips for improving? Mr. Crilly is a granddaddy. He's so good. Uh, Alex for great, one, two, three, three. As well as your classes um, that you'll be studying at school in your spare time, don't be scared to get like an art book and follow along and see what's going on with other artists and get like two angles in. I am, uh, as well as, like, I'm, I've got a bit of a kind of, not clean slate attitude, but I've got a bit of um, don't assume anything and double check the basics attitude towards 2018. So as well as doing some super basic tutorials, I myself am going to pick up a couple of the art books I bought last year but barely opened. And I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to work through them. I'm probably going to do them live on Twitch and just chill out with you guys. And basically you'll notice, I dare say, some of the next few DWMs will just be me practicing basic shit. Obviously it'll be time-lapsed again. Um, but I'm going to really just knuckle down a bit more and just try to give it a hard focus because I've definitely been just doing anime babes for a bit and uh, I need to kind of, like, don't worry, they're still happening. But I need to just make sure that I've got all the art skills still sharp. There's a story. I don't know who said it. I heard it somewhere. Anyway, <laughs> so, like, props to whoever said this. And I do apologise because, again, we're going on another little side story. Side time with Mikey. We're friends. Um, <laughs> sorry. I've just... <laughs> I've just had a massive flashback to like, do you ever just sit there and watch like five fucking hours of um, vines to rebirth vine to stop my depression and shit like that? Like, just endless vine. <laughs> Smack time, but we're friends. Um, and I just, as I said that, like immediately the first thing that comes into my head is, uh, what's it? Two guys sitting in a hot tub, five feet apart because they're not gay. <laughs> Fuck it, that's always stayed with me, that little sing song. Fuck. I'm assuming most of you have no idea what I'm talking about. Don't worry. Um, I'm not going crazy. That genuinely has valid meaning somewhere. Okay, so what we're we talking about? Yeah, so I'm going to be getting back to basics. And uh, yeah, um, basic. Yeah, there's no point to what I'm saying, is there? I'm just saying what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some basics as well as basic tutorials. I'm going to knuckle down and do some real standard study myself. So if any of you guys want to follow along um, and just start from scratch and nail those basics down and play around with anatomy and stuff, yeah, we'll get there. Anyway, uh, Alex the Great, I wish you all the best with that, dude. Um, any tips for improving? Basically, no. I'm going to try to improve myself from basics. Don't, um, don't forget the basics. Don't forget the groundwork. I'm mulling over the same... I've said the same thing about five different ways just then. I do apologise. Let's move on. Yashua Sweetland says, Hey, Mikey, can you look at my videos, please? Yashua Sweetland? Well, I don't usually go out of my way to check out other videos whilst we're doing DWMs, but let's just open you in a new tab. Have a little look. You've got created playlists and uploads. Line art anime demon girl using Ibis paints. Let's give us a little click. A little click. Oh, very nice. Oh, I like the clothing as well. What's that kind of? It's like these Chinese tail clothings. Oh, you've you've put everything on different layers. Oh, you've got a nudie layer underneath. Don't worry, there's no nipples. It's safe. 
Very nice. Keep up the good work. I try not to follow people's Instagram links and other stuff when we do a DWM because, one, they're really fucking good. It's not that I have a problem with them, but the main thing is that before when I've done this, I end up clicking on your Instagram links and then I spend five minutes following you on Instagram and we don't <laughs> talk through anybody's comments. But yeah, keep it up. Melanie Marie Dunderdale says, I love how encouraging Mikey is to us viewers. Oh, Melanie, like double MD. No worries. It's an absolute pleasure, of course. And why not? Like, like surely, if any of you guys love drawing and stuff like that, it doesn't matter where you're at in the process. If you take pleasure from it, get stuck in. I fucking love it myself. Urban Equinox says, Why did I barely notice that what made you mostly draw all the time is anime girls? Urban Equinox, yeah, there. It's been a bit anime girls heavy. It is one of my fortes, and it is one of the themes of the channel. Um, but it's not the only thing that I'm all about. So keep your eyes peeled in the future. Akira Ishin says, Mikey, can I please, please have a dark-skinned elf? I like freckles and white hair too much. I'm also working on a 334th rework of my comic. It started back in freshman year of high school and I graduated three years ago and I actually lost count of the rewrites I did when I hit 270. I was counting both minor and major reworked bits. It started out as cyberpunk, became a spaghetti western, and now it's a post-apocalyptic western. The main character has changed... Read more, read more, quite a bit too. My original design for him had a lot of blues and greys, and now he's mostly green and black. I think he looks better now. It's a welcome change. Also, can I have that elf? I'm serious. A kid at Ishin. Um, obviously you just wrote that completely normally, and I just felt like reading it in that manner for no particular reason. Thank you very much for the long ass comment. Um, fictional elf character. Like, air quotes, have her all you want. <laughs> just, you know... Keep it safe for work or, you know, be kind. Whatever. Whatever you want to hear, dude. Pseudo Wound says, Sorry, Mikey, but I mega mega must become a Mikey mega master of... Oh, pseudo... Pseudo Wounds. Do you want me to ban you from the channel? Yeah? Is that what you want? Do you want me just to make it so you can never hang out here again? <laughs> like, so many... Like, so Pseudo's doing some puns. Mikey mega puns based off the fact we had a lot of puns turning up in Twitch a while ago. Like, loads of people were just coming up so many puns and it was just the cringiest time of my life ah oh, pseudo wounds now nah, you're okay i'll forgive you you're right in my book <laughs> but jesus christ no they were terrible i want fishes nine says i wish you actually put links or pictures of the topic you talk about like the artist you mentioned around 1400 i have trouble finding the guy you were talking about i want fish nine it was xx nikki chen xx um I can't put up the links and stuff like that because if we did that every time, we'd, not that it's a bad idea, by the way, you like you do have a good point. Um, but if I did that, then I'd spend like if I tried to make a link appear on screen when I'm talking about something, then that means after recording this for an hour, I've got to sit down for another hour plus editing, editing it and trying to work out what's going on. And that's not the point of this series. Like the only way I can regularly make this series is the fact that it's raw and edited. You hear me like cough and sneeze and drink tea and fart and burp and all that sort of stuff. Um, hopefully, you know, less of a latter two as possible. Um, but the only way I can do this is because I sit here, I record it, I just stream of shit just comes out of my mouth into your ear holes, um, and then we upload it and thank the patrons at the end. Uh, if I have to start editing it, it's going to be too much work and it becomes like another fucking hard work weekly series. That's not what this is about. This is a casual reader comments chill section. Uriel Salas says, that sucks, man. It's a nice drawing lad. Thank you very much, Uriel. And Dadung says, nice as well. I appreciate it from the both of you. Uh, swears he says, terminate small YouTuber's channel, but won't terminate Logan Paul for putting suicide victims up for all to see. YouTube logic. Swears he, you said it. Oh my god, did you see that other Logan Paul video where it was like, Logan Paul is problematic and it was basically, and PewDiePie did something about it after that video went up. So, like, watch the Pewds one or this other one that was on trending. But it's just... Logan Paul just... I, I don't know. Obviously, I don't know this guy. And I don't watch any of his other videos. But he's just, like, being a really fucking disrespectful prick. There's <laughs> no two ways about it. Just uh, it just comes off as a really unlikable person. Like, like a fucking sociopath. Like, deep down, he is just a prick. He's not putting it on. He just has a completely different understanding of what's fucking acceptable. Anyway... Let's not turn this into a hate channel. I'm not like a... We're not going to go all leafy, everybody. We're not going to start looking at people's YouTube channels and talking about how much we hate them. This is a safe place, guys. This is way more chill than that. And also, the videos are really, really long. They're not, like, smart for YouTube. Let's have some more coffee. Mikey, do a tutorial, please. Carlos Guzman! Don't worry, the tutorials are back. We're doing some basics. I hope you've seen the last one. 
You're all cool. It's happening again. Anime Lover says, Another erotic woman. This is a character you draw from the Xmas Elves, isn't it? Anime Lover, you've got good eyes. That is correct. And Pish Posh says, Love the art. Thank you very much. My New Year's resolution is to survive 2018. Yeah, surviving the year is always a tough one, dude. But if you live through to the end, congratulations. Oh my god, have I spilt some tea on myself? Excuse me. <laughs> So I've just stopped to check this wet patch. It's not my nipples leaking, it's it's totally tea. Um, it is in a nipply quiet place, just because, you know, you can't see, so I thought I'd describe it to you. Uh, do you have any advice, Mikey? Asked Matt S. Um, on colour drawings. Hello, good sir, to you too. I am doing well. How the devil are you doing? Well, I say well. I'm doing much better now that I've walked away from a long day at work. I'm pleased to walk out of that office, despite the people there being lovely. I'm starting to become more confident in my sketchbook drawings, but applying colour to my artwork is another story. Matt S. Yeah, right? I was drawing um I was drawing with pencils for fucking it's I'll look, change your position on the chair, I don't know if you can hear it squeaking. I was drawing uh pencil art for years before I started making dark marks on the page. I was always like so light and hesitant, scared to commit. So that's why I started to force myself just using a pen with loads of my sketchbook instead, because you've got immediate ink lines. Um but then stepping up into colour took me ages as well, dude. So um it happens, but like yeah, it's a weird thing. I mean you get some people who just never really do art before and you just hand them some stuff and say do this and do it in color and they'll go okay i'll give it a try and then they'll like come up with something and you're just like jesus why why don't i have the confidence just to try stuff and not be worried about mistakes which is an attitude i have for the sketchbook at least but not necessarily an attitude i bring to trying to do color art because i do often associate co color art with being air quotes final pieces when really I need to treat it just like everything else so that I can be casual with it explore with it and learn it at my own pace and I talk about myself here but Matt S I suspect that's probably information that's going to apply to you as well random pineapple says so they cancel your channel but they don't cancel Logan Paul's YouTube what the actual fuck is wrong with you um okay yeah like I think there's I think that video went up when all that Logan Paul shit was kicking off. You guys are all correct. And Blood Dragon says, Hello, my name is B-Rad. That's my nickname, Vern. I'm trying to get better at drawing anime, but I can't afford crap. So I draw a sketch on test papers, homework, but I can't keep my good drawings. Uh, it's tough, Blood Dragon. But you don't need good tools, dude. Like, a lot of what I do, I use cheap pencils and printer paper. Uh, real just cheap fucking shit. And uh, that's fine. If you want to draw... This is another thing I probably talked about in that... Um, super basic first things first tutorial video if you want to draw just draw on something do it um good for you but sorry good on you for doing it regardless christian holbach says no new dwm and i have to go to work in like 30 minutes guess i'll have something to look forward to when i get home hashtag hardcore crew it's been a while since we've had a few of the hashtag hardcore crews hashtag sip of tea is in here um and all of the horrible horrible keywords that made me automatically drink my drink we've come a long way from that optic deviant says it's fucked up for me as a not safe for work artist i get my work flagged or just for yellow coin yeah if you do not safe for work on youtube it's gonna get flagged there's no way around it uh, and len art says can you draw nico hanikara from monogatari please please pretty pretty let's control copy your suggestion that's going in a notepad as well i think that might have been like monogatari characters have been suggested before i don't know if it's that one so I'll make a note of it. And Key on the Hedgehog says, can you do a manga tutorial thing? Because I'm doing a Mongol. I've been doing since of one first, wait, what? I've been doing one since some quite some time, but I quit and tear up the pages and frustration and madness when I hear criticism about it. How could I take that? And I can't take the criticism. I just want this stuff to be better. I know that one person. Key on the Hedgehog, like, I think in there, there's something that you're trying to say about like getting frustrated with artwork and you want some tutorials to help you with your Mongol character, but like, yeah, that's a real like chain of thought coming straight out of your brain, straight into the keypad. Just frustrated, can't fucking madness and the criticism. I hate it. How they don't know? But so angry. <laughs> that's how I. Sorry, that's my impression of how you probably typed that comment. Uh, dude, yeah, I hope you, um, it all works out for you, cool and chill. Yeah, plenty of tutorials, of course. Okay, how are we doing for time? We've come a long way. What I'm gonna do then? is because I've been starting with the early comments and we've gone like a little bit into them and there are so many comments uh, same thing as ever guys um like I, it's impossible for me to read all of the comments here I really do deeply appreciate you guys getting stuck in and involved I want to say hello to all of you obviously um so if I do miss what you've said this time and it's important copy and paste it in for the next episode hopefully I will catch it then I'm going to just scroll up and see if I can address some not super long ones, but slightly longer. It's Mikael Martin says, Hi Mikey, hello there Mikael. What's going on little homie? Not much bruv, what are you saying? Just created a channel for myself and was wondering if you had any tips for new YouTubers. Yeah, persevere, Michael. 
persevere. It's a fucking shit show out there. Just keep doing it. Um, like, the only reason I'm still here is because I didn't quit. Like, if that sounds like a truism and it sounds like a stupid thing to say, I mean it. There are loads of other YouTube channels starting out when I was because you kind of meet loads of channels that are your size doing shout outs and kind of networking and stuff. And uh, barely any of them are still on YouTube. They just at some point quit or they were trying too hard to be like do stuff that PewDiePie does or do stuff that other people do and they weren't doing stuff that they liked so it became like work and like thankfully for the most part I just do stuff that I like on the channel it's still really awkward for me in the early days um but that meant that I wasn't stressing out too much about it and I had a, my clear YouTube rule is that I only upload when I want to I hope it's all the time but if I lose the sp spirit or will to do it for a bit I just won't do it and until it comes back I'll go off and do something else in my life which is not a good ethic when you're trying to make YouTube a big thing, but a really good ethic if you want it to be something you don't end up hating and you don't want it to be another job. So yeah, it sounds really weird, but just don't quit. And it's just, it's a, a war of attrition. I just happen to have still been doing it. So I've managed to like go through so many waves of other channels that have shut down over time or just uh, sacked it all off. <laughs> stubborn, be stubborn basically, that's my advice. Um, let's have a quick scroll through the comments. Scrolling through the comments, which are five lines apart, because they're not gay. Rooster D. Law says, hey, Mikey, my previous comment was answered. That was my first, and I did not wrote anything, and I'm feeling about my new year. Good DWM, and I will be commenting regularly. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to have you guys in the comment section. I watch your videos and uh, teach the girl I have a crush on about drawing, so thanks. And she's good with stories, so we are together making a series. Sorry for the long and terrible comment. Rooster D. Law, you're working on a project with a girl you've got a crush on. Dude. Ah, to be what I can only assume is young. Let, let us all know how that goes. Rocky Tech wants more pencil art, bro. No worries, Rocky. We'll get to it. And Kudo Okami says, Hey, Mikey, you're amazing with drawing women, not men. <laughs> Great video. Yeah, my men need work. <laughs> That's a weird thing to say. But uh, it's true. And love working on my own manga as you ramble in these videos. Excellent, because they are very rambly. I'm really glad. Like, if you any of you guys get pleasure out of this rambling... I'm just so pleased because I know it's terrible. Like, deep down, this is a bad series. I just, I love it. I can't help it. Currently in Japan for study abroad. Oh, fuck, I'm jealous. And I'm going to try to get some connections here in a manga world. Very excited. Trying my own art channel on YouTube. But man, it's difficult. Exactly like we were saying to the last person. It's tough, but good luck. Aegis Driver 16 says, Sup, Mikey. Remember Link Legend 247? Yeah, still the same dude. Just change the name. If you can do tutorials on Clip Art Studios, that'd be amazing. Ah, oh, you got it for Christmas. Uh, you want to be good at art? Yeah, d dude, build up the skills. Smash it. Get used to this software. Aegis Driver, smash out a load of Clip Art Studios. Maybe you need to be telling... Uh, don't wait, wait for me to tell you about it. Maybe you need to be telling us some of the uh, hints, tips, and tricks. I want some feedback from you. Is that software any good to use? How have you found it as a beginner? Uh, let's keep scrolling. How are we doing for time? Good, good, good. Beyond for Cape says, Hey, Mikey. Hello, Beyond. Hope your year's been good so far. Um... Beyond, I've not done any exercise yet. I need to do that, but other than that one particular thing, and the fact that my car's headlights don't seem to work, so I need to get that in to get MOT'd, like, I'm a genuine danger on the road. Like, it's barely any light coming out the front of my car at night. It's a fucking nightmare. Other than those two things, it's going all right. Thank you very much. It's going okay. I mean, we're only, what, 10 days in at the time of recording, 11 days in when you're probably listening to this, but it's going okay. I hope yours is going well as well. Anyway... Um, check out artists like Yume or Makoto Shinkai, your name in particular for inspiration. I've started the habit of sketching my surroundings whenever the chance comes up. Great habit. Waiting rooms, watching TV, etc. All it takes is a notebook and a pen. Beyond the capes, I used to do the same thing. You are correct. Especially just um, trying to follow an outline of people, like looking at profiles and shapes. Also, if you're looking for new podcasts to listen to, I highly recommend The Projection Booth. A good place to start is a six-hour plus episode on the original Star Wars trilogy. Well, that's so on topic, because I just did that other video about things I like to listen to. Beyond the Capes, thank you for your suggestions. That's going on the notepad for later. The Jake 102 says, hey, Mikey. Hello, the Jake. How did you learn to do great coloring and shading? And I remember trying to do that Santa girl drawing once. And I got close, but I finished the drawing, and it didn't look correct to me. Also, love your videos. Hope I can try to draw like you, and I hope you have a great 2018. I hope you have a good 2018. All right, back at you, dude. Dude, coloring... It's a little bit weird. So here's the thing: like, I when I follow painters that are like a really love, like um, um, uh, what fuck, what are they called, Liosh or Lush, and like CR and Art, there's loads out there. Uh, hey Jen Bartel, like, and I'm talking very about artists who 
paint in a very particular manner and do really lush colours. A lot of what they do is that they're actually painting, they're digital painting, sure, but they are painting on the colours and roughing things out and bringing it to create a bit of artwork. Whereas what I tend to do in my style is, it's almost like an adult's version of paint by numbers. I draw the line art first, get that really crisp, get that out of the way and then fill in the middle with paint. So the way I've been learning is that a genuine, genuine, generally, fucking hell, um, although there's all sorts of tricks of light and stuff that I really want to practice and have a go at what I mostly do is I'll just look at like an anime picture that's really lush and I'll just look like really fucking hard at it and I'll be like okay like if I had to guess not only are they doing like darker shadows there which I could achieve on a multiply layer by applying just a grey multiply over the skin tone it looks like it's richer so maybe I want to have a go of a really soft brush with some like medium tone reds but over there it's like darker and turns into a kind of purple so I'm going to start trying my hand at throwing just a little bit of purple soft brush into the shadow areas and then experimenting a bit so I usually try to look at basically a really high quality piece where I want my artwork to finish or emulate or be at that level I'll never get anywhere near it like this amazing art out, out there but I just fucking stare at it and I just try to work out what do I like about this? Why do I like the shadows over there? Oh, because it doesn't just get darker. It's not a dark red. It goes into a dark purple at the darkest points. And all the highlights are like actually blues and grey blues. So maybe I want to play around with that. So, and I talk about this when I talk about just line art in my FAQ video, a really old one, where I talk about building up technical skill and getting a really sharp eye, basically leveling up your perception abilities for anyone who's a gamer. Um, but yeah, like stare at something. Uh, and ask yourself, I wonder how they did that. Try to break it down and then have a go yourself. Try to rebuild it up from what you think they've done and see if you're achieving it. That's kind of how I tend to teach myself or taught myself colouring. So you'll notice when I first started colouring stuff, it was so bad. I managed to make the skin look really flat and stuff. I really struggled. It wasn't my strong point. I should have probably watched the tutorial, but I didn't. And then you'll notice like... um especially in the second half of this year my coloring games just upgraded a little bit because I've just kind of again just forced myself to try to uh, experiment a little bit more and that's a great trick for anybody like you can have an artist who's safe because they know what they do and they do it and you can have an artist who's great because they're willing to take risks and experiment and make mistakes and learn and sort of reach out for new things off the back of it and uh you need to kind of stay flexible in life, whether it's art or anything. Uh, movimiento es vivir. Movimiento es um, vida. Something like that. Movement is life. Uh, but that applies to a trillion billion things. Uh, is that a zombie reference? It is indeed. What zombie film has... <laughs> what I just said very badly in a mistranslation. Uh, what zombie film is that from? Answers below. Win yourself a can of Coke. Um, how are we doing for time? Just enough for a couple more comments, I believe. Oh, this is... Whenever I start the DWMs, like I sit down here, sometimes I've had a great day, sometimes it's first thing, I fit them in whenever I can. Sometimes it's first thing out of bed, maybe it's after a great day at work, maybe it's after a long day at work. Uh, maybe I've planned an hour aside to do it all the time and I'm really well prepared. Um, regardless, by the time I'm about like 10, 15 minutes in, I'm really into it. <laughs> and by the time we get to the end, I'm just like, I want to read everybody's fucking comment. I've always loved just checking out what's going on with you guys. But it's only like, we always come to the end of a thing and I'm just like, oh, fuck, I've got to start speeding up and skipping things. So let's see what else is going on. I'm going to give it a scroll. Joel says, for some reason, I thought you worked at an architectural firm, but not as an architect. I might have you mixed up with somebody else. Still, though, if you're making the elderly happy, then you're doing good work. I've been using the XP pen at a huge high resolution like you suggested and I'm at least doing better than I was excellent still going to give my characters to a pro artist when I've settled on my sketches but man doing it myself is giving me loads of insight I didn't have when I was doing it less seriously influenced by the more mature looking anime of old everyone ended up pretty long legs not code geese long but still long and my huge muscle guys ended up being so huge around dialogue for one of those small characters uh the height differences make the small characters face hidden by the text box I kind of expected that would happen since I had a similar problem before now even the child characters have long legs it's weird Joe, oh, fucking essay, mate, but <laughs> always welcome. Uh, yeah, oh my god, there's older character types. Um, even if not super old, but you're just going back to Sailor Moon, the skinny leg bitches. That was really like a thing that they really kicked off with. Um, and I'm thinking back to the uh, manga studios, like as in manga, the production company that brought loads of it over to the West and Cyber City Odeo 808 kind of style and stuff like that. Yeah, really something. So obviously, Joey, you got your shakes and you're fucking like. Your muscle control of your hands is not what it should be and all that stuff. I appreciate you've been, we discussed it many a time. Um, 
I'm really glad having a go at bigger and simpler and then scaling it out is kind of working a little bit. Thanks for kind of experimenting with my suggestion. I appreciate you guys uh, giving it a go. Um, and I'm pretty sure that is me you're thinking of. Inverts, um, I've said probably before that I studied architecture to diploma, as in I've done two years of architecture at university. Um, well, probably three, because I had like this intro year where we did some other stuff. Um, uh, but yeah, like, uh, no, I mean, I've done work for architectural firms, don't get me wrong. But I'm just like, that's not my passion. And I fucking love buildings. Oh my God. And I can sit there and sketch buildings all day long. But, um, and interior architecture is something else. I fucking love a nice lush house. Uh, but like working for an architectural firm and just being a CAD monkey or just um, having to just go around getting like actual feedback and information from community about building projects and stuff. It's borderline social housing work sometimes. It's tough. Um, and it's not necessarily the most rewarding thing in the world early on. So you've got to have a real passion for it. Um, and the older I've gotten, the more I'm aware of what my personal passions are, which were similar but not quite the same thing, which is why, like, you know, I like stuff that looks after old people. Because, you know, like, social care in the UK is a really mixed bag. Some of it's good, some of it's not what it should be. Um, I fucking love drawing in general. This is the thing. I like drawing what I want to draw and what I've got the juices in my brain. It's like, you know when you just go on Pinterest and you're like, oh, fuck, I want to draw this, I want to draw that, and so on. When you when you study architecture, it's never what you want to draw. It's just fucking, can you just draw this cupboard angle again and make sure that it works with this door frame and stuff? And can you just fucking go over here? I need a material supplier that's going to get me 200 tiles that meet this quality testing requirement because on this face of a building, it's exposed to the sea and we need to work out how long this building is going to stand up for and stuff. Swings and roundabouts. Anyway, Joel, long answer to your long comment, but awesome. I'm glad you're giving it a go. And yeah, engaging with your own characters, even if you're just writing on the other side, is a great way to feel out a different side of things. Uh, can we fit one more in? Only a quick one. X Juno says, to be honest, since I started uh, uploading my own speed paints to YouTube and started suggestions, uh, me and a lot of artists, I'm just completely blown away by their art. And I look at their sub count, it's like 300 or less, especially when I look at video suggested on the side of mine I see so many underappreciated artists that are a thousand times more skilled than me or other artists I'm already following. Ex Judo. Yeah, but obviously this is what I was mentioning last time round, in that there's some really fucking talented artists out there, have tiny YouTube channels but incredible amounts of talent. But YouTube is half talent and half being good at marketing yourself on YouTube, which is something that I don't do very well. Not that I'm particularly talented, but I'm also equally bad at marketing. I I do it because I know what I like so I just kind of on purpose don't try to work overly too hard to make the channel grow that might sound really counterproductive but it's literally how I fucking I've got a weird brain um but there are artists out there who I'm sure I assume would love the exposure um but just need to kind of work out their you know the fucking keywords that they use and um the text like helps define the search results and stuff but yeah I almost feel guilty when I see tiny channels with incredible talent I know exactly how you feel um, although I'll have to check out your art time sometime as well. Oh my god, I'm just having a little bit. Oh my goodness. Anyway, whenever you see underappreciated artists, you try to give them a shout out in your Instagram story. Awesome. Yeah, it never hurts. It's better for nothing. And yes, happy 2018 to you too. Well, guys, we have come to the end of this particular episode. I've done my best to crack through as many of your delicious comments as possible. And of course, I've enjoyed doing it. So, again, get in the comment section this time around. Do we have a particular question? Oh, no, we don't. There's nothing particular going on. Um, well, I haven't fought up a question. I haven't stolen any of your ideas for questions either. Except to say, I hope you're all having a bloody lovely year so far. Bear in mind that none of this would be possible, the DWMs, the tutorials, and the speed paints, if it wasn't thanks to those delicious people on Patreon, um, which are probably scrolling on screen at the moment. Stop and say hello to all of them, and an extra great big shout-out in the special to Thomas C, Shinobu, G Zahaki, Hamongchi L, Blue Mercy Studios, John D, Cogleaf, Ray C, The Clamps, TAVR, Joe R, Kaidi Art, Ryder. 2kx josh michael x trent h adam d i should do like um i should do like i should read through your names in different ways as we do more um dwms in the future luke c where's b steve r Ju felix o save on s jamie carlos r taylor s jakey eights ferdy friend rory allen dave w quay joseph christian l gabriel r minion 715 icz adam t and nikolai hassel h a great <laughs> 
I've just gone a little bit crazy there. A great big thank you to you guys for the support. I fucking love you for it. It's all, it's the only reason like this can happen is because, you know, it helps feed me. Mikey likes to pay rent and be fed. And to all of you other guys, come check out Patreon sometime. I bloody love it. If you're not going to, that's fine. I do this stuff for free because it's a passion of mine. Um, but come subscribe to Mega Mega 2 if you can. Come follow me on Twitch. That'd be really great to see you guys on there. And of course, I will see you delicious people next time. Take care.